guys welcome to co-parental with narcissist 101 i'm kate thank you for joining me and if you haven't subscribed guys please do don't forget to like and share as well um guys so this topic is um tips that will help you with the, the court date with the narcissist in the family court tips that will help you uh, five tips that will help you with um before you go in preparation of a court date with a narcissist as somebody that has been to the court family court back and forth sometimes for no reason at all you just you have to remember that this just like these people get up and text you mad things and crazy things and whatever it is they want to do uh or they email you or they call you if you used to talk to them on the phone having you show up in court is another form of supply for them you know especially when they try to get hold of you in different ways so that's why you show up to court for the judge to just tell them go do it that's it that's that's what that's what they needed but they, they, they've dragged you there you responded you showed up to the court you start you stand there with them they see you you know so it's another form of supply for them so you definitely will see you know in the future or I, probably currently you're still doing it you know i i've been there so many times do i still like do i think that he might still want to find something to take me to court yes i, I still think that there's got to be some kind of rubbish uh nonsense that he will dig up and and we'll go again you know maybe i request for something or participate in something or something <laughs> i know he will find something you know so unfortunately this is what something we have to deal with you know co-parenting with this before you if you or if you still share anything you know you still share properties or you're still expecting some kind of settlement or payment or sharing something yes this might still uh, happen because this is another form of supply for them so the first one that as you're preparing to go to court with these people is that find somebody to vent the day before <laughs> uh, or two days before find somebody to vent this I actually did a couple of times because what you're trying to do you know i remember the whole aim and i've said in so many of my videos is that you stay as calm as possible when you get in front of that judge you be at your a game with you being calm i don't care if you're the most you know craziest person when you're out of there <laughs> you make sure that you are calm in there because that is one thing they can't stand they'll be flipping out wondering why you're not acting out you know so the day before vent i i vent to my mother i vent to my brother like i go off you know like everything that you wish you just go over there and just tell the judge like see do you not see what's going on here you know you do all that you vent to somebody you know get the steam out release the pressure you know before you get to court the not the second one is um don't check for any messages or emails that they send to you because this is them trying to you know provoke you you know and you, the last thing you want like i said is to have all that on your mind when you go to court it, it's rather you it, you are better off trying to get whatever it is that you know you or they're taking you to court for to just be the one thing that you're going there for everything else it doesn't matter at that point everything else doesn't matter so but these people will try send you emails send you texts maybe call you to get into another bs to go off there which is, will be on your mind when you get to court the next day or the two days later you know so unless they they have the kids with them you know the kids are staying with them or they went to visit during this period before you show up to court don't entertain any email or text until you finish with the court and come back because there's nothing else especially if you're using a lawyer or they don't need to talk to you about anything else unless you have unless they, unless they have the kids and you know you want to have that communication open because in case something is wrong with the children or whatever but other than that don't entertain anything right before you know you go to uh, you have a court day because they are trying to provoke you that's for sure they're going to put something in there to provoke you another one is um don't entertain folks that you're not sure which direction they are coming from when, when it concerns you and the narcissist i mean the friends that you're not sure family members your own family members that you are not really sure exactly which direction they're going and come and discuss you know this court date or whatever with them or what you're going to say or what might happen directly or indirectly tell them what you're going to do or say don't don't do that you know i know yeah this is you might not even know when you do it <laughs> so uh don't don't entertain anybody over there or from your own side you know that you're not really sure where if they actually understand what's going on because chances are they might relay messages back 
you know so if you're not sure where anybody stands with you during this process prior to that uh, it's best not to discuss this the the court date or whatever it is that's going on with the narcissist you know with you know with whoever that is because it, it, it will go back and another one is um stay off social media stay off social media right before you go this is very important <laughs> social media like we know is the narcissist playground this is where they act the fool this is where they be whoever you know i mean this is why we're wearing masks all day so you you can imagine social media that allows that for you know makes room for that to happen so do not go over there to go watch what's going on or have somebody tell you what's going on or don't don't do that do not do that this is not going to help you because as much as we say oh we're not going to think about it no when you get over there and maybe there's a word that comes out while you're in the courtroom your mind floats back to that picture you saw last your mind floats back to the picture you saw last, or the comment you know from social media from something so don't even go there, especially, you know, days as prior to you going to days or times. Pretty much stay off it to begin with, you know, stay off it to begin with. But you, if you are still going back and forth to check it, going to court, I mean, days or weeks prior to going on the court, you know, having a court day with these people is not going to help, you know, because it's somehow it's in your mind. You all, all it needs is some kind of word and they pose out. It comes out and then you might react in court and because you're now you're reacting to the picture or the comment, not particularly what is going on in the courtroom, which of course gets you out of, you know, out of the zone. You're supposed to be calm because the whole aim, you know, in the courtroom is for you to be calm and let them act crazy because they will act crazy. That's one thing they can, as much as they, you know, pretend and whatever, they are counting on you uh, to act a certain way so that they'll be like, huh, I told you guys, I told you guys. So you shock them by sticking to the story, by sticking to the point, by not reacting. And the only way to make sure that you stay as calm as you can is to take care of this before you show up in court. Now, you can do whatever you want afterwards, okay? But before you get to court, you do this so that in front of the judge, you can stay as calm as you can. Because the whole story going for the narcissist, usually, as you guys know, is that you're crazy. They are the crazy ones, but you are the ones that they're telling is crazy. You know, the projection thing going on. So, you prove them otherwise. Stay as focused as you can in court to the point that you came there for and as calm as you can. And you watch them unravel. <laughs> All right, guys. Get a hold of your mind and everything else will fall into place. Please like and share. Take